Hi Gemini, welcome back. And welcome if you guys are new. I'm getting ready to do your video for or your energy update reading. And I don't know why you and Pisces didn't upload. So we're going to try to do it again. This is really just for those that have Gemini and their Sun, Moon, Rising, and or Venus. And let's go ahead and get started. Uh, well, before I do, I want to say happy birthday to all of you guys that recently celebrated, happy belated, that um, just had a birthday like that. We are definitely in Gemini's reading. This is Gemini's card, The Lovers. All right. Let's go ahead and get started now. Let's see what you guys are attracting in, either intentionally or unintentionally this month, Gemini. As we know, we're going into Gemini season. And we had a new moon in Gemini, June 6, 2019. I started doing um, these last few readings based on this new moon in Gemini because I found it a very auspicious and powerful time to work on our manifestation abilities and really put our thoughts, keep our thoughts positive and light as, you know, what we think we attract and become um, re our reality. So let's see what most of my Geminis are thinking right now, or at least the ones that I'm picking up and whose energy that I'm picking up or who needs to hear it. Let's see what it is that's going on with you. Okay, Gemini, right away I'm feeling... If you've been waiting for an opportunity to do something, now is the time. I've been feeling like the universe is going to respond to you guys by like showing you an open door. By like if you've been feeling a lot of friction lately, like a lot of things just going wrong for you no matter what you do, it just seems like you've been just running into a dead end or like it doesn't really go anywhere. You can apply this to love, relationships, family, home or romance, whatever it is. I've been feeling like over and over maybe or just for the recent last few months or two to four years you've been really feeling like something isn't really playing out for you this I think right now the universe is responding to my Gemini's like okay you got yourself out of the situation we wanted to see you get out of it we wanted to see if you were willing to put in the work. We wanted to see if you believed or if you could think positively and attract what you truly want. If you can clear your mind of something. And we're going to open this door for you and let's see if you actually go through it, walk through it. Because I feel like in the past, a door also opened for you guys, but you guys didn't walk through it. Or an offer was presented to you guys, but you guys didn't take it. Um, now it's coming back around again, guys. I'm feeling that energy for some reason. You may have to choose between two people, two things, two doors. <clears throat> okay. So I have also the Knight of Cups as your overall energy. This is telling me this is has something to do with a romantic interest or it has something to do in terms of your love life. This is something to do with who you want. How come you can't really commit? How come you're not paying so much attention on love? Is it because you've given up or is it because you have really no interest in someone or you just feel like, you know, you're better being alone and single and serial dating because you haven't really found the right person, you know? But there's something that's telling me they are the universe is bringing somebody in here. There's somebody in for you guys again that you're really going to connect with, but you may not really want to connect with them because of fears from the past. I do see the first starting card. You guys have the Six of Swords. Leaving a tough and leaving something behind. Going to calmer waters. Whatever it was, it must have been kind of rough before. Or maybe you were just dealing with a lot and you were recovering from something. But I see here, you have put out your intentions, Geminis. You have already spoken to your angels, your guidances, your deities, whatever it is that you guys believe, your God, um, 
I feel like you have, you know, thought and made your intentions clear. You have manifested something, you know, this is like in the middle of manifesting something. You have put it out there now, watch it come back. I'm really feeling that, Gemini. It is going to come back, but will you guys see it this time? And will you guys accept it? Which one will you choose? I feel like you have options here. And you are actually going to be in the spotlight for a few of you guys. Maybe for a few of you guys are a public figure. Or, um, you know, you it's just like you're going to attract certain people, the right people into your life. And I feel like maybe it'll be very difficult to choose because you're going to be caught between, you know, what you've always been used to with something that, um, it's like you connect, you're going to make a certain connection that's going to be long lasting, Gemini, but you're going to have to choose because only one of them is really stable and a commitment is on the way if you want it. No, it's not going to be completely easy. Yes, you know, there is going to be a battle of the egos. For some of you guys, there's still conflicts here between you and a person that needs to be resolved. And it's also like maybe you or the other person that's feeling like, um, I just don't really want to deal with that right now because I don't need that kind of drama in my life. But I feel like in some way there is still a little bit of, um, you know, there's still a little bit of, it, it's like weighing you down emotionally. But you're going to get this message. Very favorable message, Gemini. Okay, what you guys are, okay, this is awesome. What you're manifesting in is someone who truly understands how a Gemini works, how a Gemini thinks, how a Gemini functions. I'm a Gemini moon, so I do understand that maybe you keep always bumping into people in certain crowds and you just feel like no one ever gets me. No, that's not really me. Like, there's this thing about Geminis that you literally have to have some, like, Gemini placement in your natal chart to really understand how intricate and how, um, how Gemini really works. They're very emotional, but they don't show it emotionally. They show it mentally. They communicate it in a way where actions speak louder than words. And I'm seeing here a relationship is coming closer for you guys. But right now, you may be tempted. Okay, Gemini. I'm seeing also what I'm feeling is this message is going to come in. You may not know what to do about it. Because maybe you feel like... It's like it's you're going to feel like, oh man, why did this have to come now? It's almost like this bad timing, wrong timing kind of feeling, but this is what you want. So the universe is saying, look, you asked for this before. Were you serious about it? You know that feeling? And also another side message that I'm getting for a few of you guys is um, really kind of hold back. Take your time and watch things play out. This month, Gemini, it's more powerful and more of a benefit to you. It's more beneficial and um, more. It's going to be an advantage to you if you were to hold back and wait. And don't say anything. Don't react maybe tame yourself or control yourself or restrain yourself because I've been feeling like there's something that is going to press or push your buttons and you may want to lash out or say something and it's saying don't just hold back because I'm feeling they won't understand right now but you'll see something more clearly 
in the month of June, July, or going into August. Somebody here, King of Cups, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, a Taurus, a Virgo, a Capricorn, um, you may be wanting to send a message to them or you may get a message from them that this is actually, I'm seeing a soulmate relationship coming back together, soulmate twin flame, something being reconciled here, a message you've been waiting for, this is going to be heartfelt. This could be totally a new relationship too, but I'm feeling like for a few of you guys, it's the new versus the old. I do see you have strong ties and connection with someone in your past. The universe may be trying to bring up memories of them, reminders of them. And you may be feeling kind of weird. <clears throat> You may be thinking you kind of want to explore that route or that past. You maybe offer something, you know, a cup of love, forgiveness, or just at least, you know, um, reconnection just to say hi, something with someone in your past. I do feel like it's someone from your past. Something's going to be healed. There's unfinished business. There's a second chance and an opportunity to do something right that didn't, that pretty much went left last time. And these were your other cards that I got. See, you now we have judgment. Make that decision. I feel like the universe is giving you guys a second chance to make something right, do something right. Um, pay attention. Pay attention to numbers. Four, twos, and sevens are so um, significant. They just keep showing up. A lot of twos, and you have a lot of fours, and you have a lot of sevens. So a lot of this might play out in the month of July. But I'm also getting you need to choose with the two. This is also manifesting something you want and getting it. But making your thoughts and your intentions clear. I'm seeing money. I'm seeing someone still missing you guys. I'm seeing you guys. Um, could be networking with someone who's going to play a crucial role in your in your either business or in your career or in your life. You know, in a social, in a friendship, in a romantic way. This could be an earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. But I'm seeing a lot of changes. The universe is bringing a lot of changes to you guys, but you have to let go of the past. Letting go of those memories. Maybe it's like wanting to, you know, throw that comment, well, remember when you did this and you know, you know, they did something and it's kind of going to bring about a little bit of discomfort. It's like, don't, don't do that. Letting go of something entirely is how this is actually going to play out very well for you and to your benefit. Someone here, a Cancer or Scorpio Pisces, maybe who is a friend. Maybe that you collaborate with on a normal or on a routine or on a daily, weekly, whatever schedule. They secretly have feelings for you too, Gemini. I just want to let you guys know that. Someone who's a friend. Or maybe you have, you know, feelings for a friend. You secretly kind of want to get in a relationship with them. But because of how other people think... Maybe this is kind of why you guys don't want it known or be wanted um, recognized right now. But it's like, okay, that's a really strong message that I'm getting when I saw the judgment card when I was feeling this. If this person is who you want, then you need to forget about how other people think. Because the universe is going to bring them around, memories of them, or you're going to start seeing signs, synchronies, and symbols. And they're going to let you have this opportunity. If you don't take it, you might miss out on it. So, 
what is it that you guys want to do? Gemini, you have um, something here. The universe is looking out for you and what you guys want. They're going to bring, for a few of you guys, second chance and reconciliation. Um, you may get into, you may want to speak up and say something. You may be very tempted to argue about something or something really petty. Saying don't, because this is going to bring about Ten of Pentacles as your reward if you guys don't. Because it may um, ruin something really awesome and good, or this could be a message to your cross watcher not to do something because something good is in the making here. Something very awesome is in the making and it's not worth ruining. Or, you know, sabotaging. All right. <clears throat> so minor sacrifice is worth it. The risk and the all of it that you guys can benefit from. <laughs> yes. My message is right, Gemini. Yes. You guys came to this reading way before responding to something. Maybe this is, like, why I had to do your reading now. For a sign, okay, Gemini. Very, very clear. Look for a sign. I was feeling that when I said the universe is going to be speaking to you guys in some and number signs and symbols. Yes, those numbers that I said, I forgot what they were. I think it was two, seven, and four or something. Pay attention to that, okay? And it's kind of what I have for you guys now, Gemini. The universe is really looking out for you guys, bring something in for you guys. Make sure you guys don't miss it. Okay, I hope this reading helped you guys, and thank you guys for your time. I'm going to end this video here, and I'll see you guys later. Bye, guys.